Question 1. What is Amazon Virtual Private Cloud? Amazon VPC. Answer. Amazon VPC lets you provision a logically isolated section of the Amazon Web Services, AWS, cloud where you can launch AWS resources in a virtual network that you define. You have complete control over your virtual networking environment, including selection of your own IP address range, creation of subnets, and configuration of root tables and network gateways. You can also also create a hardware virtual private network VPN connection between your corporate data center and your VPC and leverage the AWS cloud as an extension of your corporate data center you can easily customize the network configuration for your Amazon VPC for example you can create a public facing subnet for your web servers that have access to the internet and place your back-end systems such as databases or application servers in a private facing subnet with no internet access you can leverage multiple layers of security including security groups and network access control lists to help control access to Amazon EC2 instances in each subnet. Question 2. What are the connectivity options for my VPC? Answer. You may connect your VPC to the Internet via an Internet Gateway, your corporate data center using a hardware VPN connection via the virtual private gateway. Both the Internet and your corporate data center utilizing both an Internet Gateway and a virtual private gateway. Other AWS services via Internet Gateway, NAT, virtual private gateway, or VPC endpoints. Other VPCs via VPC pure connections. Question 3. How do you connect my VPC to the Internet? Answer. Amazon VPC supports the creation of an Internet Gateway. This gateway enables Amazon EC2 instances in the VPC to directly access the Internet. Question 4. What are the components of Amazon VPC? Answer. Amazon VPC comprises a variety of objects that will be familiar to customers with existing networks. A virtual private cloud, VPC, a logically isolated virtual network in the AWS cloud. You define a VPC's IP address space from a range you select. Subnet, a segment of a VPC's IP addresses range where you can place groups of isolated resources. Internet Gateway, the Amazon VPC side of a connection to the public internet. NAT Gateway, a highly available managed network address translation NAT, service for your resources in a private subnet to access the internet. Hardware VPN connection, a hardware-based VPN connection between your Amazon VPC and your data center, home network or collocation facility. Virtual private gateway, the Amazon VPC side of a VPN connection. Customer gateway, your side of a VPN connection. Router, routers interconnect subnet and direct traffic between Internet Gateways, Virtual Private Gateways, NAT Gateways, and Subnets. Peering Connection A peering connection enables you to route traffic via private IP addresses between two peered VPCs. VPC Endpoint for S3 enables Amazon S3 access from within your VPC without using an Internet Gateway or NAT and allows you to control the access using VPC Endpoint P. LI Egress Only Internet Gateway A stateful gateway to provide egress only access for IPv6 traffic from the VPC to the internet. Question 5. What are the steps to build a custom VPC? Answer. Below are the steps of build a customer VPC. Create a VPC. Create subnets. Create an Internet Gateway. IGW. Attach the new IGW to your VPC. Create a new root table. RT. Add the IGW as a root to the new RT. Add a subnet to the RTS subnet associations. This will be the public facing subnet. Create web server. Public subnet. And database server. Private subnet. Instance Create a new security group for the NAT instance. Add HTTP and HTTPS inbound rules that allow traffic from the private subnets IP. Create a NAT instance, public subnet, community AMIs. Search for Amazon AMI VPC NAT. Choose the first image, Diablo Auto Assigned Public IP. Add it to the NAT security group. Create an elastic IP. Associate the elastic IP to the NAT. Disable source slash destination checks for the NAT. Add the NAT instance as a root to the initial VPC RT. 
Question 6. Why should you use Amazon VPC? Advantage of using AWS VPC. Answer. Amazon VPC enables you to build a virtual network in the AWS cloud. No VPNs, hardware, or physical data centers required. You can define your own network space and control how your network and the Amazon EC2 resources inside your network is exposed to the internet. You can also leverage the greatly enhanced security options in Amazon VPC to provide more granular access both to and from the Amazon EC2 instances in your virtual network. Question 7. What is the difference between stateful and stateless filtering? Answer. Stateful filtering tracks the origin of a request and can automatically allow the reply to the request to be returned to the originating computer. For example, a stateful filter that allows inbound traffic to TCP port 80 on a web server will allow the return traffic, usually on a high numbered port, for example, destination TCP port 63 912 to pass through the stateful filter between the client and the web server. The filtering device maintains a state table that tracks the origin and destination port numbers and IP addresses. Only one rule is required on the filtering device. Allow traffic inbound to the web server on TCP port 80. Stateless filtering, on the other hand, only examines the source or destination IP address and the destination port, ignoring whether the traffic is a new request or a reply to a request. In the above example, two rules would need to be implemented on the filtering device. One rule to allow traffic inbound to the web server on TCP port 80 and another rule to allow outbound traffic from the web server TCP port range 49 152 through 65 535 Question 8. Can Amazon EC2 instances within a VPC communicate with Amazon EC2 instances not within a VPC? Answer. Yes. If an internet gateway has been configured, Amazon VPC traffic bound for Amazon EC2 instances not within a VPC traverses the internet gateway and then enters the public AWS network to reach the EC2 instance. If an internet gateway has not been configured, or if the instance is in a subnet configured to route through the virtual Virtual private gateway. The traffic traverses the VPN connection, egresses from your data center, and then re enters the public AWS network. Question 9. Why can't you ping the router or my default gateway that connects my subnets? Answer. Ping ICMP echo request and echo reply. Requests to the router in your VPC are not supported. Ping between Amazon EC2 instances within VPC is supported as long as your operating systems firewalls, VPC security groups, and network ACLs permit such traffic. Question 10. Can you monitor the network traffic in your VPC? Answer. Yes. You can use the Amazon VPC Flow Logs feature to monitor the network traffic in your VPC. Question 11. Within which Amazon EC2 regions is Amazon VPC available? Answer. Amazon VPC is currently available in multiple availability zones in all Amazon EC2 regions. Question 12. Can a VPC span multiple availability zones? Answer. Yes. Question 13. Can you use your existing AMIs in Amazon VPC? Answer. You can use AMIs in Amazon VPC that are registered within the same region as your VPC. For example, you can use AMIs registered in US East 1 with a VPC in US East 1. Question 14. How do you specify which availability zone my Amazon EC2 instances are launched in? Answer. When you launch an Amazon EC2 instance you must specify the subnet in which to launch the instance. The instance will be launched in the availability zone associated with the specified subnet. Question 15. Are there any bandwidth limitations for Internet gateways? Do you need to be concerned about its availability? Can it be a single point of failure? Answer. No. An Internet gateway is horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available. It imposes no bandwidth constraints. 